Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Easy, no bleed, wood stain, lines, and stencils. Now in this video, I'm going to show you a very easy technique uh, to create two-tone, uh, nice, clean, crisp lines using wood stain. Now, this is perfect for a lot of do-it-yourself uh, projects. A lot of times, uh, these projects can be painted, but they just look better um, or more rustic looking or aged uh, when you use wood stain. The problem is that with standard wood stain, um, you get a lot of bleeding underneath uh, painter's tape or underneath your stencils. Uh, this technique um, really ends up with some nice, clean, crisp lines. So the first uh, demonstration is really just going to be using standard wood stain. <clears throat> now, standard stain is very thin. Uh, it's actually designed to absorb into the wood you know, very deeply. This first test area, I dabbed uh, the stain on. Uh, the second one, I'm going to just brush it on. The third one, I'm going to carefully dab uh, with a rag or a paper towel. And I'm really trying not to push any of that stain underneath the painter's tape. Now, once all of the wood is covered, I am going to just wipe away whatever excess stain there is, and just like you would, you know, if you were if you were staining a piece, you would you would paint or wipe on the, the stain and then let it soak in for the desired amount of time and then wipe off the remaining stain. Now the problem again with with standard wood stain is that almost no matter what you do, once you peel that painter's tape, you can see that the wood stain has actually bled underneath the tape. Or if you were using a stencil, a vinyl sticker, uh, it will have bled underneath that. And you won't end up with the nice, clean, crisp lines uh, that a lot of projects really um, require. The technique that we're going to use is a little bit different, a little bit different um, materials. But it does end up with a nice, clean, crisp line, uh, regardless of whether you use um, vinyl stickers or whether you use just standard um, painter's tape. It's very easy, very quick, and really um, has some very dynamic uh, effects or results. So anyway, we'll, we'll get started. With, with most projects that require wood staining, you are going to need to um, have a very flat, smooth surface. So if the wood is not completely smooth, take a few minutes and just sand it down using a 220 grit sandpaper. Once it's completely uh, sanded, then you can lay out uh, your painter's tape however you want it. You can either use just the edge of the painter's tape or what I've done here on this little um, shield is I put the painter's tape down and then I used a razor knife to kind of cut out the shape on the tape that I wanted and then just peeled away the excess. We're going to use the darkest stain first. We're going to use a gel stain. This is a Minwax gel stain. If you note at the top of the crest, I've also attached some vinyl uh, sticker stars. Um, but you could print out you know, any, uh, any sticker or any stencil from a, a, a Silhouette Cameo a vinyl cutting machine, or you could buy stencils, or you could cut any design right out of painter's tape. Um, you know, putting them on is really just an example of, of what materials you can use with this gel <clears throat> stain. The technique is going to be to dab on the gel. You don't want to wipe it on. You don't want to force any of that stain underneath the painter's tape. And again, <clears throat> and again, we're doing the darkest stain first. I'm just going to carefully cover all of the um, exposed wood. And just taking my time, making sure that every square inch is covered. I'm going to work my way up. And I'm going to do the exact same thing over the stars, over the vinyl stickers. So actually, it will be this um, dark walnut stain will be the background. And once I remove those vinyl stickers, 
uh, each of those star shapes will hopefully um, have nice, clean, crisp lines, and they will be the lighter color wood or the exposed wood. So I'm just finishing up uh, the staining. I'm also staining the edges. That's the first step. The second step um, is to use a paper towel just to dab away uh, as much of the excess stain as you can. Very important again here not to wipe. If you are going to wipe just very, very lightly. But you don't want to wipe if there's any globs of stain still on the wood. You know, absorb that first and just give it a light light dusting. And then I usually set this aside and let it dry for about at least about 10 minutes. That's not really completely dry, uh, but it's dry enough uh, after 10 minutes uh, that you can remove uh, the tape and you can remove the stickers. Um, I like to use a tweezer uh, to remove the stickers and the tape. It just uh, allows me to do it a little bit cleaner um, you know, I find when I use my fingers, I, I get brown stain on the gloves and I end up getting brown stain on the wood. Uh, but you'll see here that as I start to peel um, not only the star-shaped stickers, but also uh, the painter's tape, um, I've really got nice, clean, crisp lines uh, using that gel stain in combination with sanding the wood um, and painter's tape. It just takes a few minutes to peel away all the tape. And then you could actually leave a project with a single tone, you know, or a single um, stain color, the dark color, and then you could just, you know, lacquer over this um, in a clear coat. Uh, I, I think this is too drastic using the, um, the exposed light wood and the really dark stain. Uh, but that's a personal preference. I'm going to go over this with a, um, another coat of stain to give it that two-tone look. But, you know, the main thing here is to check out how clean and crisp those lines are. So the next step is going to be using a lighter stain, but this is using standard stain. This is not a gel, and this is after this plaque has dried overnight. So you're just going to wipe it on or paint it on as usual. Let it soak in for the desired amount of time, a couple minutes, and then wipe it off, just like you would with, with regular stain or when you stain any wood project. And that's basically it. The only step in addition to this, after letting this dry completely, is I did uh, give it a spray coat of clear lacquer. Uh, but that's the finished product. This technique can be used on a variety of different uh, do-it-yourself uh, crafts and do-it-yourself projects. Um, and the finished, re the finished project or product uh, really has a, a, a nice rustic look to it. And it can be used on a variety of different designs. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. If you like this video, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.